Kyle, how you doing? Um, just your thoughts on uh, your performance tonight, obviously getting the MVP trophy. Go ahead. Um, it's just a testament to the guys that I play with on offense. Um, you know, I, I think I played a great game, but I think the guys up front played an even better game, uh, honestly. And they set the tone from the first drive. Um, you know, Gav played well. Receivers were blocking well on the perimeter. And uh, I was able to just follow their lead. Uh, Timmy, to recover that um, block punt after all you've been through coming up to this point, what does that mean for you? Yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, everybody everybody did what they were supposed to do when we were out there. Um, yeah. I didn't really have to do anything at all. I was just standing there, and the ball kind of came popping out. But uh, it's pretty cool being able to do it at this stage. Um, it's big for our program. So it was, it was all around a good moment. Trevor, can you talk about that punt block? And Coach Yano talked about your journey here and just what this means to you at the end of it. Yeah, I mean, this means the world, doing it, especially with these guys. I honestly never thought I would be in this position, but throughout the year, we kept working. I gave credit to all my teammates for believing me and trusting in me, and also Coach Yano for trusting in me. So, I mean, this has been an unbelievable experience, and I can't wait to celebrate with these guys. Uh, Kyle, obviously you're the story right now, but uh, I mean your defense. I mean the guy to your side right here, um, forcing that big tackle. Deion Jennings delivers the huge um tackle. I mean the defense just balled out completely. Just speak to them and the impact that they had playing complimentary football and allowing you to be you. Yeah, um, playing this high level football, you have to play complimentary football to win games. Um, and defense played great. Um, they just put us in great opportunities to to go put points on the board. They held them when uh, we needed to in big time moments, and um, like you know, the, the t some instances to name a few, like Dion making a play there. Uh, a couple other guys made some plays. Mo played great. Um, you know, like I said, it's complimentary football and just allowing the offense to do what they had to do and defense handling business. Congrats, Kyle. How do you kind of sum up the season that you've had, and how do you put it into perspective? And you know, obviously capping off the way you did today, and what you feel like you showed all season, and how it's going to kind of carry you into next season. Um. Yeah, I mean, now I, can, I guess we can finally look back. Uh, I think I was able to build on a lot of things. Uh, I think I set out uh, a lot of goals for myself, and I was able to accomplish them. Not all of them, but some. And, um, you know, I, it, was a, it was great to be in a role that uh, a lot of guys looked to me as in leadership, being a captain for the first time. And, um, you know, a lot of guys, like I said, leaning on me just to, to make a play or even just for that, uh, that boost uh, to just be a leader. And, um you know, it's, it's something to build off of going into this uh, off season and for next year. But, um, you know, I think uh, I did some things well, but like I said, it's stuff to build off of. Gavin, you're obviously dressed the part. What was the whole experience like for you this week, especially being on the field today out here at the stadium? Um, I'd say it's just a amazing experience. Uh, you know, get to play a great game with these guys and, uh, you know, just to be able to send our seniors out the right way, you know, like uh, T.Y., and, uh, you know, some of our older guys, you know, to be able to send them out the right way, you know, uh, means a lot. So. Uh, Kyle, I wanted to ask, you know, with the return of key players like yourself and uh, just, just other seniors and stuff, I wanted to ask, you know, what do you think the impact of how big this win is? And uh, just how do you think overall this will affect recruiting and just the overall impact of, the, um, you know, just the team moving forward for Rutgers? Uh, for, yeah, the win today, I think, is a, a huge impact. Number one, I think uh, being able to go 7-6, and six, and it's not the goal we set for ourselves in the beginning of the season, but to finish over 500 is definitely a big step for this program. Um, and to win the last game of the season is definitely something good, to, positive to build out going into the off season, right? So, um, And then, you know, recruiting-wise, like you mentioned, I, I think that is something to show the high school guys, like, hey, these, these guys know how to win, and, um, you know, they're taking steps in the right direction, so it's somewhere I want to come play. You know, it's not, like I said all the time to guys, it's not easy to play here. It's a definitely a hard place to play. But um, that's just because Coach Yano demands a lot of us, and he knows what it takes to win. So, um, you know, we got to be willing to step up to the plate and just do the uh, day in and day out. So um, it's, a, it's a huge impact this win. Gavin, uh, the, is the tush push something that the offense wanted to implement more uh, in the bowl game? Um, well, uh, off its recent success uh, lately, yeah, definitely uh, something we implemented for the bowl. <laughs> Gavin, now that the season's over, I'm just curious, how would you assess your performance throughout the whole whole year and uh, and, and today as well? Um, you know, today uh, 
I would say, you know, credit to my old line. You know, they it all starts up front. And, you know, Kyle, your run game, you know, it opens up the pass game. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, there's definitely some things that uh, I could have did better this season. But uh, that's what the off season's for. You know, uh, you know, go into the off season, have a plan, you know, uh, you know, make sure we get better for next year. So, yeah. Um, does that excite you? Just the idea that I mean, you see the pieces. These many of these guys are, are around you will be on this team next year as well. Is that? Of course, it excites me. Uh, you know, ballers like Kyle. You know, a bunch of experienced guys coming back, and uh, uh, you know, it, it makes me really confident. And you know, uh, I know who's around me. So, Kyle, uh, back on the subject <laughs> of recruiting. You know, Rutgers just won a bowl game at Yankee Stadium. Tommy DeVito was the quarterback of the Giants for a few weeks, and Anthony Volpe, shortstop of the Yankees, and Dylan Harper just committed to Rutgers. Do you think there is a new sexiness to being a homegrown New Jersey athlete that influenced your decision to come back and can help <laughs> Rutgers on the recruiting trail? Um, that's an interesting way to put it, a sexiness. Um, <laughs> if, if, yeah, if you want to put it that way, yeah, sure. There's a, there's a, there's a sexiness to being a homegrown guy. Um, and I, I think it's just interesting. Not interesting. I, th I love the fact that I can say I'm from Jersey. I go to school in Jersey. I was raised here, grew up here, and I was able to do things well in my home state. And now getting this win at Yankee Stadium, I know it's New York, but, you know, it's like it feels like home still just uh, just across the water. So, um, yeah, to answer your question. Uh, for Gavin and Kyle, these guys, uh, Trevor and, uh, and Timmy, may not have the perspective of what they've done. You guys have been around them as they've gone through their journeys, gotten to know them. What is it like for you guys to see them come up and make a big play in a big moment like that in, in this kind of game? Um, I love watching them do what they do. Um, you know, I hope they get some type of award at the end of the season because they've, they've been lights out on special teams all year. Um, you know, a lot of – Timmy, I think, uh, doesn't get the credit he deserves because he does a lot of stuff that goes under the radar that from a spectator's view you may not notice, but uh, he works hard day in and day out. He puts the time in, and then on, on game day, he does his job well, you know, to the T. And uh, same with T.Y., just, you know, 100% effort every chance he gets. So, you know, I, I'm, I love watching these guys play. Just to kind of piggyback off what Kyle said, uh, these guys just come to work day in and day out, and, uh, you know, they give it their all. You know, they leave it all on the field. And, uh, you know, Timmy does, you know, he does a lot of things, uh, you know, that go under the radar. So uh, these guys, you know, they, they're they're leaders, uh, especially on special teams. You know, big big contributors contrib to this team and uh, what we do. So, Gavin, well, when you came to Rutgers three years ago, it, it was a little bit of a leap of faith for you. And there's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs. What does this moment mean for you personally, taking this team to a bowl win? And uh, you know, what do you think that this can be in terms of being a springboard for for the team in 2024? Uh, it means a lot. You know, uh, when I committed here. Um, you know, obviously, it w it was a little bit of a leap of faith, but uh, you know, I trust in Coach Yano, and uh, you know, he he had a plan, and uh, we, you know, we had the right guys, and so it's just, it's an exciting moment, you know, to for this to happen. You know, this is what we pictured, but you know, we have bigger plans, but uh, you know, this is just a step in the right direction, so uh, it's, it's exciting. Uh, this is for the two special teamers uh, <laughs> and that awesome play. I'll start with Timmy. Uh, Coach Gianna was talking about how you started as an equipment manager. <laughs> and, uh, you know, to put that into perspective now, um, you know, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Yeah, I'm, I'm just super grateful. Uh, I've gone through a lot of stuff <clears throat> um, over the years. And to come in the way I, that I did, I, like, this moment is honestly insane. Like, I can't even wrap my head around it right now. But, um, yeah, and all the credit goes to – like all my teammates, everybody, like when I came in, they all, like, obviously they could have been kind of surprised seeing one of their equipment managers now on their team uh, practicing with them. But uh, they, they, they accepted me right away. They were um, excited to see me on the team. And ever since then, it's been, this, this has been a ride and it's been fun. And Trevor, uh, just, I guess, um, you really, you decided you had an extra year, you wanted to do something with it. What went into that decision? Yeah, so I played four years of uh, lacrosse at Brown, and I knew coming out of high school that I had that extra year of eligibility to play a different sport. And 
after my senior year, I decided that I did want to take that chance on myself and play football again. And just, I'm super, super grateful that Coach Shiano took a chance on me. And also my teammates over here, they trusting and believing me to come in day in and day out and do my job. And I'm just super, super grateful to finally be in this moment. Timmy, just going back to where you were saying a second ago, um, Coach earlier was saying how much of a leader you've become on special teams. I guess what has it meant for you to earn his trust on in such a phase of the game that Rutgers places a huge emphasis on? Yeah, I, it means the world, uh, especially given he, he's the one who gave me this opportunity. Um, I just wanted to make him proud, and um, I just every day I don't want to let him down. Come in every single day, I work as hard as I can just to um, make him happy and uh, – I do it for these guys too, Kyle and Gavin. Like these guys come in, they're they're the face of our program, face of our school, face of New Jersey, and I just want to do my job so that they can have all the all their success and everything. Like that's that's what I love to see, just all them doing their thing. And Kyle's day he had today, like it, like that's that's the world to me. I love that. For Kyle and Gavin, you both recently announced you'd be sticking with Rutgers in 2024. Uh, what, what what went behind those decisions, and what are your expectations now for the upcoming season? Um, what went into my decision was, um, you know, I just felt like there was more left to be done. Um, you know, when guys make that step to, to go to the next level and, you know, whatever they want to do and not come back, uh, whatever it may be, I feel like that's them saying they've done everything they can and they're ready to move on, and I just felt like there's more to be done. And, um you know, seeing everyone else coming back, you know, like Mo and Flip and Rob and Reem and everybody else that decided to come back, um, you know, that's how can you not get excited to have one more go around with your, with your guys going going back to go achieve something greater? Um, so that, that's all that went into my decision. And, yeah, I'm excited for what what the future holds. Uh, Kyle, do you have any plans on where you're going to put the trophy? I don't. I was actually going to give it to my mom, but – it's a little wobbly right here, so I didn't want her to like break it or something. So I'm I'm gonna keep on to hold to it uh, for a little bit, and then I'll decide what I want to do. Yeah. Coach Ashiana said that you know we, we wouldn't believe the scene in the locker room after you guys won in the celebration. <laughs> take me take me in there if you can. Like what? Obviously you've won other games before. It's not the first one, but what was special about this one? What was it like in there? Yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, I, I call it the later end of it. I was trying to find my mom, but, yeah, it, it was crazy, even when I walked in, so. Uh, you know, <laughs> when we, we win, we dance, but uh, it was a uh, more little little crazier, you know, uh, you know, just guys excited, you know. This is a big step for the program, and, uh, yeah. you know, uh, just excitement, you know. This is the first bowl we've won in a, in a while, and, uh, you know, we worked so hard for this in the off season. We – worked our butts off day in and day out and uh you know for this to uh, come out you know it's, it's really exciting so thank you thank you guys keep chopping thank you uh well, how about we'll start with you just your thoughts about the way this defense attacked against miami you guys really set the tone early you got some stops you got some sacks just your thoughts about defense's overall effort well i feel like the defense played very well you know uh, finished our last game before this one with a bad taste in our mouth, and we just wanted to come out, you know, and play how we play. Play violent, play physical, and play fast, and that's exactly what we did. Robert, it looked like you got hit late in the first half, uh, got knocked over before that, that one touchdown. What did you see on that? What, what, what happened? It looked like you were pretty frustrated about it. Um, It's just a, it's just football here, the moment stuff, I guess. He probably didn't hear the whistle a little late, but um, it's just here, the moment stuff. I chalk it up to that. It felt like it was a pretty chippy game more so than usual. Did it feel like that on the field? And why do you, why do you think that was? It was, but it's just due to the fact that, you know, we've been having 15 bowl practices. So you get to go against somebody else finally. So it's probably just the extra little activity out there to play because you finally get to go against somebody else. And ju sorry, just to wrap this up. But it looked like there was a pregame, I don't know if I'd call it a scuffle, but I think you were in it. I, I believe you two were in it too. Just what, ha what happened there? What did you guys see? And can you guys just explain to uh, I wouldn't today. say it's a scuffle, you know. Like uh, it's a championship game, you know. Feelings are involved, you know. And it's football. You're going out there. You're trying to go out and hit somebody else, you know. So things that you know, conversations go on. But yeah, we good. It's football at the end of the day. Well, you talked about uh, coming in, and you know, came in before Shiano was here, and the losing, and had to deal with it. To go out and play so well in this game, to win with your brother on the team as well. What's it mean to you? 
Well, it means a lot. You know, it's, it's a blessing, honestly. And then being able to come back for another year and just help him grow. Coming here freshman year, it was it was tough going 2-10. and 10. I wasn't used to that. So all we did was work. Since Cristiano got here, all we did was work. We brought in guys like these guys, you know, become my best friends, you know. So it's just a blessing to have them and also have my brother, you know, so. For any of you guys, when, when you're celebrating this win, uh, do you allow yourself to look around the room and realize that most of you will be back here next year with another opportunity to build on it? And is that, does that make this even more exciting in a way? I mean, that's a great question. At uh, the end of the day, I saw it was in the back of my mind, but right now we're just thinking about being 1-0 at the end of the season. And so now that we're 1-0 at the end of the season, we got to build. And it was great that we have a lot of guys coming back, you know, uh, Robert Longabeam, Mo Ture, you know, Flip Dixon, all those great guys coming back. So we're looking forward to just keep building off of this win. Robert, what do you what do you feel like this defense kind of proved and, and showed all season long? Um, we just wanted to prove as a defense that we're a tough group. We play hard, we play physical, and we're gonna be violent. Like that that's what we wanted to prove and I think through the throughout the course of the year we proved that. So we're doing what we wanna do. It's just the foundation we're gonna keep building. Robert, facing a guy like Xavier Restrepo for pretty much the whole day, I mean, what was it like facing him and what just made him so tough? He's a crafty receiver. He's a he's a good receiver. It was a, a real competitive battle. He's a great receiver. I all respect to him. He gets me better, so you got to watch film, but it was all good. Um, Robert and uh, Wesley, we talked to Mo about coming back, but what went into your guys' decision to return for another year? Yeah, uh, end of the day, just looking around the room, we have a great coaching staff, you know, from defense, special teams. All, all the way through trainers, all that, and the same thing. My brother's beside me, like just being able to play this football game with these guys, more just moments like this. You know, we're just gonna keep chopping and just keep doing what we gotta do as a family. Yeah, it was. I feel like it was unfinished business, really. All my brothers coming back. I knew this someone I wanted to be a part of from the start. So, being having all them back, having our defensive staff back, it's a blessing. So I know we're gonna be ready to work next year. Wes, what's the whole journey like for you? I mean, just being here at Yankee Stadium, this whole experience, and getting this win today with your teammates. Uh, I mean, it was amazing. And I see it like as a blessing from God. You know, whether we won this game or not, I just wanted to just go all out. You know, I know everyone did. I know I can definitely say that the guys that played beside me with the same color jerseys on definitely went all out. You know, just being from Canada, just, just being able to be a part of this moment with these guys is amazing. Mohammed, uh, I see you wearing the Yankees jersey. You know, as a home, as a homegrown New Jersey player, what has been your favorite part about uh, playing for Rutgers and representing your home state? Like you said, representing my home state, this is home. Like Rutgers is home for me. You know, being able to play at home, have my family come see the games, and then at the same time having my brother with me. You know, it's a blessing getting to put on for New Jersey. You see a lot of Jersey guys; they leave Jersey, and I wanted to change that. You know, I wanted to change the narrative. Like, you can do it at Rutgers. You can be great at Rutgers. You can win at Rutgers. Did you grow up a Yankees fan? Uh, nah, this is actually my first time here. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, did it mean anything more to beat a program like Miami, a blue blood program, national champion, big name? Did it mean anything more to have a bowl game win against a team like that? Really, any opponent we faced was going to be a big game for us. Like, this is a stepping stone in building our program, winning the bowl game. You have to do that in order to compete for bigger games. So being able to check this off the list as a program, it was a big step for us. So it was really any team we played was going to be a big game for us. I don't know if you checked your phone in the locker room. There's a video of you doing the U and it's going upside down and it's going a little viral on Twitter. I don't know if you saw just what happened there and just what's your reaction to it was, that kind of blowing up? Just <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot. It was just, you know, he had a moment. Like, uh -uh, he had a moment. That's all it was. You know, all respect to Miami. No, and no bad blood, nothing. It was just he had a moment. Uh, Mo, Mo, you just mentioned how you wanted to prove that you could do that record. You came here 2019. The program got, I believe, two wins that year, none in the conference. Now you're up standing here as a pinstripe bowl champion. What does it mean to you to see that development uh, at, at to the program and to the defense? It means the world to me, you know. Like like I said, I'm from Jersey, you know, so seeing this program build and just gradually get better throughout the years, you know, we got our whole defense back. We got a lot of guys back. We got Kyle Manung guy back, you know, so 
I feel like this is, like Beam said, this is a stepping stone. We're just going to continue to build off of this to next season. Mo, you were talking about how you're a homegrown New Jersey person. What would you t say to someone right now who's in high school contemplating coming to Rutgers? What would you tell them to get them to come here and have the Chiano mindset? Uh, I'll be honest with them. You know, this isn't – we work hard. We grind. If you want to work and you want to win, come here. Rutgers is the place to be. If you're from New Jersey and you wouldn't put on from your home state, Rutgers is the place to be.